This video will demonstrate how teachers can use Google Classroom's assignment feature to attach a CODAP document in order to have it duplicated for each student in your class to work on and turn back in. The first step prior to creating assignments is to have students give permission for CODAP to read and write files to Google Drive. This only needs to be done once before assigning CODAP documents in Google Classroom. To do so, have each student open CODAP and then save something to their Google Drive. CODAP can be found at codap.concord.org slash app. If your students are new to the platform, you might consider having them interact with one of the tutorial documents, such as getting started with CODAP, so they can familiarize themselves with the platform before they save. When they're ready to save, they can click the menu button and save. To connect CODAP to Google Drive, students can click log in to Google and select the account that they use with Google Classroom. This will initiate authentication and ask for permission to access the student's Google Drive. From here, they can select where they would like to save in their drive. And notice that at the top, they should receive a message that says all changes saved to Google, to Google Drive. After every student successfully saves to Google Drive, your class is ready to use Google Classroom. Now, as the teacher, you can create the CODAP document that you would like to share with your students. This could be one of the examples provided. It could be a document that you create from scratch. And once you have it just right and you are ready to share with your students, you can click the menu and save, just like your students did to the Google Drive account that you use with Google Classroom. Be sure to note the name so you can find it later. And once the document is saved to Google Drive, you can then create an assignment in Google Classroom like you typically do. Be sure to select when you attach the code app file from Drive. Of course, selecting the one that you just saved. Be sure that when you are attaching it, instead of selecting the default that students can view the file, be certain that you make a copy for each of your students. And you can assign it. Once the assignment has been posted by you, the teacher, students can open the Code App document by clicking it in the Google Classroom assignment. Students will likely be presented with a view of the underlying text of the Code App document, and they can complete the opening process by clicking the Open with Code App button at the top or selecting that option from the drop-down menu. Students may need to log into Google in the CODAP platform one more time. And notice that this process creates a separate document for each student, so their changes don't alter the underlying CODAP document you assigned, and students don't see each other's work. Also, you see that students' work automatically saves as they make changes, and those changes automatically apply in Google Drive. One more note, it is an important practice for students to close their code app documents whenever they are not actively editing them. Otherwise, you might inadvertently overwrite a student's document when reviewing and providing feedback on the assignment. Code app documents aren't designed to be collaboratively edited like a Google Doc, so whenever a student would like to reopen it to work with it again, they can do so in inside of the assignment in Google Classroom by clicking it, or they can access it through their Google Drive. When they're ready, have students turn in their document. Students can submit their code app document assignment as they would normally in Google Classroom by clicking on the Turn In button. As the teacher, this will then allow you to review 
provide feedback on, and grade their code app assignments.